Hello everybody. Hello. Welcome back to another vlog. Hope you're doing really well. This is going to be the first of two vlogs because today we are going to somewhere we've never been before. Never. Never. And you guess where it is. We are going to to, to be or not to be. There's your clue. Yeah, we are going Thank to you. Stratford upon Avon. Stratford upon Avon, I say. The home of Shakespeare. Shakespeare country. It's the birthplace of William Shakespeare. So I thought I would take you along with us. It's somewhere completely new to us. Um, and I thought it would be a couple of really interesting vlogs. So it is currently, obviously it's the October half-term holiday. It's Thursday the 26th, we are stopping two nights. So we're stopping tonight, Thursday night, and we're stopping tomorrow night, Friday night, and travelling home on um, Saturday. I have booked tickets to lots of William Shakespeare things. Um, Tomorrow, I have booked tickets to the William Shakespeare story. Okay. So today, um, it's only about an hour's drive from where we are, not far at all. Booked a really cute, well it looks really cute, hotel dead in the centre. Um, it's called the Townhouse. Really, really cute. Um, dead central to everything. We're dead excited because it's somewhere we've, we've never, never been. been. Um, so yeah, the weather is looking good for Stratford upon Avon. It's not looking good here. No, um, not. I need to load the car up, so I'm hoping it stops in a yeah. minute. Um, so I and then and then the weather in Stratford upon Avon. And, um, the rain stops there like around this time this morning, and it's dry for the rest of the day and tomorrow. Fingers crossed. We are going to head off in a minute. So come with us to Stratford upon Avon. Stratford upon Avon to be or not to be. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? We are here in actual fact, we've been here a couple of hours, I would say. It's because we were driving around for about an hour. Yeah, I had to find, um, because dead opposite the hotel is a car park where it did sell mm -hmm. Booking.com Weeks Park, but um, they changed it to a private car park between certain hours, so we had to find another car park and unload and everything else. Um, so that was all done, we've had a little wonder about, went into Lush and Waterstones, as you would have seen, and now we are in... Um, the oldest building in Stratford upon Avon. No, it's one of two that claim to be the oldest building. They're both pubs. We're in the Garrick. Garrick. Um, the Garrick Inn. It's ordered some food. Atticus has got fish and chips. I'm gonna. I've got vintage cheddar, mac, and cheese. Mm. And then it will be time for us to check in. Um, we did drop our bags off and that there earlier. Um, and the hotel looks super cute. See, um, I don't want to show too much um, yet because we're going to do all of the houses tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to do Shakespeare's birthplace, the new place, what he bought, and then Anne Hathaway's cottage. We're going to do all that tomorrow. So I didn't want to show too much of all that. Shakespeare's school is dead opposite our hotel, which we're going to on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. We, our hotel is literally dead central to so everything. So we are back at the hotel, we have just checked in. The room is even better than I expected. I knew it would be really quirky and um, it's a boutique hotel and I knew it looked really nice, um, but it's even better than I th thought. Um, so I'm gonna do you a little room tour. So here's an overview, there's that kiss on his iPad. Um, so yeah, this is the main bit. So we've got a great big <laughs> king size bed. Nice, and apparently, 
I read on the reviews, somebody that stayed here, because I'll always read the reviews before I book somewhere, and someone said um, it was the most comfortable bed they'd ever slept in. So then we've got a great big telly on the wall here, which I will be watching later. Then we come over here. I just love these curtains. Um, then we've got a dressing table here. We've got a fan on here. We've got a reed diffuser, little makeup mirror, lamp. All the world is but a stage. Um, then we come round here. I love these curtains. These curtains are immense. I love them. And you can see how old the building is. Um, the, the little window. I love this wallpaper. Little feathers. Um, then we've got a nice armchair here. Then we come through here. There's me. And if we open this, we have inside here, we've got a hairdryer, um, iron there, we've got a kettle, all the tea and coffee stuff. And then here we have a little fridge with some water. What is this? What is this? Ah, oh, milk. <laughs> it's milk. I did just buy some milk um, from the Tesco Express, but we have some milk in there also. And then this bathroom is probably the biggest bathroom I've had in a hotel room. Yeah, and it's got the yeah, it is, and it's got the roll top bath. So I'll be having a bath in this for sure. How nice! Obviously, got our towels there. Nice wicker chair there. It's massive mirror there. Nice sink there. Again, you can see all the character of the building. Then we've got a big, big, um, like rain shower there. So I'll give you an overview. Really nice. Really, really pleased with this. Really yeah. pleased. What impressions, Atticus, of Stratford upon Avon? I'm going to give it a 10. 10. Lovely place so far. I mean, it's a very quaint place, very, um, um, pretty quiet, a lot quieter than I thought. Um, but obviously tomorrow we are doing um, the main, I guess, touristy thing. So tomorrow morning we need to be at Shakespeare's birthplace for quarter to 11 because our ticket is for 11. So we're going to look around that where he was born. And then the actual um, story time ticket also includes Anne Hathaway, his wife's cottage, and the new building what he had built later on to live in but Anne Hathaway's cottage and the new building we can enter in at any time come out for a little evening place. walk yeah and I'll just show you this this is like the ticket package that so I was talking about place. that's the um, a gateway but yeah. the house is to the left that's of it. right the new place yeah the house is literally directly left to it yeah isn't it and that's Anne Hathaway's cottage so yes We're just in a Greek, I just found some chips and we're in a Greek like restaurant. We've got some chips with oregano on, gorgeous. That's because it's got some chips and the man just bought us some complimentary like kebab meat over to try. And you've got chili. And his chili sauce, which is mm. That's because it's just trying kebab meat, um, pork and chicken. He loves it, he loves kebab meat. <laughs>
Jennifer, good morning. Good morning. From Stratford upon Avon. It is Friday morning now. It is just 10 o'clock. Uh, we had the best breakfast. My croissants were elite. They were warm. So good. Atticus, how was she scrambled The bell was ringing. The bell's ringing. Can you hear? Because it's 10 o'clock. I know what one it is. It's the one down there near one. What was your scrambled egg like? The best scrambled best egg. The best scrambled egg. 10. It's 10. We slept so good. So Becca's comfy. The hotel is really nice. Really recommend the townhouse if you come and stay at Stratford upon Avon. So our plan for today. Obviously, I mentioned I booked the Shakespeare story ticket, so we need to be at his birthplace for about quarter to eleven. And it's literally five minutes up the road, so we've got ages. Um, so the plan for today is we're going to his birthplace first. Then we're going to go to Anne Hathaway's cottage, then which go is about a twenty-minute walk, about a mile walk, but it's not going to rain, so it's the new fine. New place is just there. That's right. So. so we are going to head to Shakespeare's birthplace, which you would have seen a little bit um, of when we went out for a walk last night. You would have seen a little bit of that in the dark. Um, but yeah, you want to get a quill pen, don't you? I don't want to get a book. A book. Yeah, you want to get a book. Literally, I'm going to get a book. Strapped up and Avon's really taken my money. Yeah, really. it's took my money, that's for sure. Atticus has found his quill I'm that. pen, I'm you've got a coin. So that was Shakespeare's birthplace. That was so good, so interesting. I couldn't film inside the house. We could take pictures, but we weren't allowed to film. So obviously I inserted some pictures. Attica stood directly, didn't you? Directly? Where he was born. They think he was born like obviously in front of the fire, which I showed. So Attica stood where Shakespeare came out, his mummy's tummy. That was so cool. Really, really That's interesting. Like you giving birth to me, but it is in a hospital. Well worth a visit, well worth a visit. Here, Jen, we're going to go back to the hotel room, drop gonna, these bags off from the gift shop. Then we're going to go to Anne Hathaway's And cottage. then we're going to Anne Hathaway's cottage, which is about a 20 minute walk, it's about a mile walk. So we've dropped the bags off at the hotel, and now we are on our way to Anne Hathaway's cottage. A little bit of history about Anne Hathaway, if you don't know who she is, was um, she was Shakespeare's wife, and they got married in quite a hobby because she was pregnant. And obviously back in the 1600s, it was frowned upon then to be pregnant and not married. So they got married in um, quite a hurry. It was quite an age gap. She was 26. And he was 18. And he eight was 18. Years. Anne Hathaway's Cottage, coming up next.
Chris just went on one of his favourite, he collects these from all over, the penny machines. But now they've changed because you don't actually have to have a penny, you can just tap your card. What one did you get, Atticus? Yeah, just look at it, Shakespeare's face. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Is it getting hard? Now he's getting Anne Hathaway's cottage. So a look. So that was Anne Hathaway's cottage. Again, not allowed to film inside, so I inserted some pictures. It was so interesting. Um, the final photo I inserted of us standing in the kitchen and then with our feet, a picture of our feet. The reason for that, that floor was actually the original floor. So we stood where Anne and William would have stood, which cool. is insane. <laughs> <laughs> insane the man said in there like the tour guide you know it's like quite emotional and it really is I can't believe this is the first time I've seen all this you know I'm knocking on 50 and it's the first time I've experienced all of this and I'll tell you what it is well worth a visit what do you think Atticus are you enjoying it yes yes it's amazing absolutely amazing if you do come it's worth getting the story ticket because you'll get into the birthplace which we went to earlier and hathaway's cottage and then the new place what we're going to now so it's well worth getting that it's not too bad a price either it worked out i think 37 pound um for me and atticus to get in all three so that's really really good um so we are going to walk back to the center now which is about a 20 minute walk and go to go to his new place what he had built in stratford when he was older and then fingers crossed we're going to get to his grave um because i was talking to the lady in the cafe at Anne hathaway's cottage and she was saying to us there's a myth with his grave um apparently his grave is cracked and none of the others are and there's a myth x-rayed his grave at some point they saw that his skull was missing so it's a myth that someone actually got in the grave and stole his um, skull. In Victorian times. In Victorian times. Um, and on his actual grave, I did read this before we come because as you know, I like to do my research before we visit somewhere. And on his grave, hasn't actually got his name. It's got like one There's of his- um, Half five at half. That's it. It's got one of his like sonnets, poems. Um, saying that my bones be blessed or whatever i'll show you it when we get there and whoever takes my bones be cursed or something like that and yet it's a myth that um someone got in the grave and stole his skull so there's another bit of um another bit of interesting stratford upon avon fact for you So Atticus is making his own William Shakespeare seal. That's quite cool. 
Go on the next kiss. I'm gonna redo them. You have to press them really hard. Yeah. Go on then. Yeah, you have to press it really hard. That's it. Let's have a look at it. See it? That's good. Oh yeah. Cool. Well, Shakespeare's um, new place, what he had built, but not in actual fact the building, that was actual the house that stood next door. Because apparently the house that Wait. Shakespeare actually had built, um, right. owners later on knocked it down. You'd get, you'd get life in prison <laughs> if you'd done that now. Yeah, because they wanted a bigger house, but that was the house next door and obviously it was the exhibition and everything else. So now we are on our last um, location of today. We are going to his grave at the Holy Trinity Church, which is about a 10 minute walk um, down here. So I hope you've enjoyed the first vlog of Stratford-upon-Avon. Definitely. Um, I feel it's been quite a long one. I will soon yes, see when I edit it back, definitely. when I get home. Um, but I feel it's been quite a long one. So I hope you've enjoyed. So look out for vlog number two, which is coming soon, which will begin tomorrow morning when we visit Shakespeare's school, um, the Guildhall and the chapel, which the is Guild across... Chapel the road um, and also us traveling home we might look in a few shops before we go um but yeah it's been a fab fab day and i hope you've I'm enjoyed today watching. 10 solid 10 yeah. solid 10 now we chill we will see you very very soon for a brand new video and look out for vlog number two of stratford upon avon bye, bye.